hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at the flow of adding appointments for the receptionist so let me show you how this thing works let me first clear the database before I do the demo because I have a clean database for now okay and we have four appointments already for the day of 9th okay that's when I am recording now there are four patients let's add one patient so that you now we can create you know um, an, an appointment for him so John Doe six seven eight nine zero six seven eight nine zero something like this so we have this now the flow is that when the receptionist is trying to add an appointment she clicks over here and then there is this decision between whether search by number or add patient so let's first look at the add patient sorry the search by number flow I search I get this I do book appointment I select the date let's just say for the sake of example I'm taking an appointment for tomorrow I do a follow-up I hit save and now you can see the appointments listing doesn't show that okay John Doe is not present but then let me again do a search book an appointment okay it's today's date visit save now you can see that the appointment is over here okay so this basic flow is complete now let's just say this is not a returning uh, patient or it's a new patient so these are the details so what will happen over here is once I hit save I'm taken to the appointment page again and I can select and save so a new appointment for that particular patient is added so this is the flow that we have done so far and we are going to look at what's the code behind getting in this entire flow so let's dive in so the first thing that we are going to do is look at the patient controller because we need to understand what is happening when this form is getting saved right so let me go to patient controller in here we have the store method okay so the validation is happening then there is this patient which is getting created okay that that is getting saved in this variable then what we are doing over here is we are checking whether the destination is present and if it is equal to equal to book okay then I am redirecting to the appointment book URL which is a new route that I have created but if I don't see this then it means that it was created from the patients add crud and so we are not doing anything to that we are just returning to the patient list so I'll show you the flow from the patient's perspective because we have already seen in the initial part how this form works but if I do something like this test from crud now if I hit save it is showing me the patient details in the patient listing page because this condition was not fulfilled okay but then how is this happening so it is happening because if we open the appointment book component we have made some changes so let's see so we have this search thing going the location okay where is my appointment book no this is this is not what I what is being loaded I think it's appointments appointment add right so we had two forms on that page right so we had form search and for form patient add now what I am doing is when patient add is called I am adding a destination to the values and that is equal to book so what happens is because of this this condition gets triggered okay and that's how we are kind of redirecting the user to that particular page 
pretty straightforward stuff i would say okay um if i have a switch case then maybe you know i'll, I'll do something about it but for now this is fine okay so now let's look at how the appointment book form is working the appointment book is a page which is let's look at the web.php what i have done over here is i've done a route model binding so let us open up the appointment controller inside appointment controller we have book um, method and that is already getting the patient so uh, so that particular patient is sent as a prop to this appointment book component and that's why i have interface props i'm expecting patient it's a form so form appointment book okay there's this form submit handler we will come to it there's a drop down and hence we have this on location type change i had to do this because um how do you say i wanted the appointment to have a category whether it is a visit or it is a follow-up because what happens is when i spoke to my friend what he said is th sometimes the follow-ups are quite quick and he would like to you know, take maybe a follow-up quickly and then look at other patients so that's the reason if that information is available on the dashboard it will be helpful so we added that as a you know migration element if you see i have added a new field in appointments table called type okay i haven't kept it as enum as of now because i was not very sure whether you know, if this needs to uh, have more va values um, so i kept it as string anyways we are not going to do any queries where you know type is going to be a condition so i thought this is fine can i added those indexes as well but yeah migration has one change now obviously um and the patient object is available now the drop down which i have over here this is interesting on location type change i need to change this to actually a visit type okay i'll do that right now the node watch is not running this function name needs to change but what i'm doing over here is whenever the drop down value changes i'm setting this as the type value this is something which we have already seen when we were creating the location crud mm, let me see I, I think it's location crud yeah whether it is a hospital or a clinic right so we had we have already seen a select thing so we have a name so what happens is as i was telling you i'll go to add appointment when i click on book appointment the name is already auto populated and then we have the date right so how do we do the date it's a form item with date picker this is the ant design date picker and on change i am calling this function but before that if you see i have a use effect which is you know for the empty array which means when the component is mounting this will get evaluated it will set the field the name as patient name which we are getting from the prop and the date as the moment object the ant design library's date picker expects a moment object so that it can set itself so we are setting the current date as the default value okay and then we have the date change over here so when whenever you know the date picker is changing we are setting the value it's a moment object so we are again setting it okay so these things are taken care of and then finally when the form is submitted right i have patient id i have date so i convert that moment object into a string because in the database i i don't want the moment object i want the string and then i have the type which is whether it is a visit or a follow-up so this is the form as we have seen you know form object is passed form item name date this is the drop down again the options are hard coded i don't see them changing too often so for now it is okay and then the submit button right And yes, I haven't done any uniqueness check because Nikhil Desai, as you can see, it is over here and here as well. So that's fine. One more thing which I have done is if you see, there is this appointments table. 
This appointments table is showing dates from future as well. So there's a 10th entry as well. However, the dashboard shows only the 9th, which is the current date. Okay. So how have we done that? Let me show you that as well. I'll go to controllers, home controller. Okay. What I have done is in the pre so far, the, the route, the home route was a closure, but then now I have converted into a proper controller based thing. However, it's a single function. So it's invoke. I'm injecting the appointment service over here. And then I made a small tweak to the get appointments. The get appointments was not considering the date. So what I have done is today is the flag which is set to false by default. So when the uh, when the flag is default to false, this condition will not get triggered. But when it is true, we have a conditional query. We are saying when today is true, I will add a where clause and I'm saying this where clause is date should be equal to today's date. So now and then format. Pretty simple stuff, right? So what I'm doing over here is when we had the patient controller, patient controller index, oh, sorry, not patients, appointment controller, appointment controller index calls the get appointments without the flag. So which means today is false. And so this doesn't execute. Whereas on the home controller, I'm passing today as true. And so it only gives me the appointments for today. And then we are calling the home um, TSX file. So let's see, we'll go inside the TSX pages, home TSX. Now over here, I have again refactored the appointment table. I'll show you the components. So inside components, appointments, appointment table. I was seeing that the appointments listing page, which shows, you know, other dates as well, right? This, right. And this table are, are actually the same, right? They're identical components. So what I have done is I have moved this component into its own TSX file. Okay. What does it expect? It is expecting the appointments, obviously, because you know, the table will parse through the data. Then it is expecting the function, the handler function, which, um, you know, takes care of the paginations and everything. So that's over here. Oops, sorry. Okay. And then if you go into the home, you will see we were already getting the appointments you know, from the controller passed to home TSX. So that's fine. You know, we are getting here and the handler function is also passed over here. Same thing I have done inside appointment page where, you know, this is the function. So a lot of code actually um, went away. If I, if I show you the appointment TSX, right? Let me, not the public files, appointment TSX. Yeah. You can see I have removed all of these lines. I have removed this and I have added just these three lines and even this entire, you know, the configuration thing is now inside the appointment table. So no other information is actually stored in the appointments.tsx page component. So it is completely isolated and it is, it came, it's structured well now, I would say. Okay. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's how I have, you know, gone ahead and made the, made this flow. I know there are certain UI level changes, which will be required. For example, this button for some reason is on the left hand side. If I see that we are following a convention, which is then the buttons are on the right. So I'll have to fix those things. But yeah, so far I have made good progress. I am now going to look at you know, the patient history kind of stuff in here so that we can quickly get that in place. And my friend then will slowly start playing with this application and start giving me feedback. That's the whole idea. I hope you like this video, guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.